Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sanjana. I'm really glad to know that you guys have been enjoying the last couple of videos that I've uploaded on my channel. Uh, the Ink Forget Planner, completed planner flip through for January. And then I also showed you guys how I'm using the Messy Corner Planner for my wellness. And I thought I'll continue this series by sharing with you an update about my work planner, which is from Happy Wagon. And this is by an artist called Tatiana. I've used Tatiana's planner in 2022 for work as well. And I decided to continue with it because it, it works really well. So yeah, let's get started with this particular video. Also, I want to do a check in with you guys. Um, you know, you guys might have purchased some of the planner based on my recommendations. Do let me know in the comments below how how has it been working out for you? Uh, are you facing any issues or are you liking it? Do let me know in the comments below. Okay, now truly let's get started. Uh, with the yearly pages, I haven't really done a lot because... Uh, I thought I'm going to do this in the last week of December since work is quite slow around that time and um, I thought I would do it. But then we got the last week off and <laughs> I didn't really want to think about work during holidays. So I, I just paused it and January was quite a busy month and there were some hiccups as well. So I didn't really have the time to work on these yearly pages. But I, um, I do want to do it. I don't think February would be the right month to. Probably at the end of March. Um, my birthday is in March and... Um, I get that new year feeling again so I might take advantage of that and think about my goals and um, intentions uh, regarding my career okay so monthly pages first we have the gratitude practice again I did not do it for the very same reasons that I spoke about uh, for the yearly pages but from February onwards I definitely have uh, plans to do it okay then we have the calendar page. This is something that I struggled with it, struggled with this particular month. And I know why. Um, with my 2022 work planner, I did not really do a lot of uh, setup videos. And I, I wanted to. I wanted to do it for 2023. So I was just thinking about like, okay, how do I navigate like setting this calendar um, at the beginning of the month when so many things come in between like we'll have some meeting on the 11th and then a couple of project update comes and I'll have to update in my calendar so there's not really a lot of things to update at the beginning of the month itself um, so I, I just kept pushing it off thinking about like okay let me get a few more projects let me get a few more updates that I want to add and then I'll do a video honestly I don't think that's gonna work at all I might have to look at this calendar page as a work in progress always so instead of doing the setup video after I have used it for the month I can probably share it with you guys in a very similar format of video but for this one I've just marked paydays and then a couple of meetings and some day offs that I and that I applied for so I just have this is like really half baked guys even the planners like last year planners didn't look like this you will see that for February next month when I do a completed planner flip through for Tatiana's you will definitely see the difference between February and January so uh, stay tuned for that and subscribe to my channel if you've been enjoying my videos and you haven't yet okay in the notes column uh, this was just a random like things that were running in my mind that I wanted to do that particular month and I just made a note of all those things over there then we have this goal setting page this too I really wanted to take some time out set my yearly goals first and then do the monthly planning that did not happen um, but I am doing it for February so again I'll give you guys an update on that Okay, coming to project planning, this was a new addition to the planner, honestly, which I was quite excited about. But then I got really confused based on how I work on my projects and also in general how the projects are. 
uh, because many things are like long term like they go for years together or months together so i'm like what date do i add here and what do i need to put in this box uh what are those three important things that i need to add in this checklist i think i've worked it up a lot in my head and um i have a couple of things like do i mark long term projects or do i mark milestones or um anything else like there're just a lot of things going on and i just decided like not to do it because um it was pretty confusing i'm like okay let's let's uh give it a pause for now and think about it in february i'll give you guys an update on this as well now starting off with the weekly pages i absolutely love this particular layout wherein we have um like a weekly overview as well as a uh, a blank like notes section with its blank lined it really doesn't matter to me but i absolutely love this layout i've been using similar layout planners since 2019 for my work uh, so i was happy to find a planner from india for 2022 so that that's really great anyways um one of the differences that is um that i was a bit skeptical about from the 20 2022 planner were these checklist sections so last year we just had a blank section which i really loved uh so i was a little bit bummed out that they took off their plain section and added this checklist but um i've been using it for a few weeks now honestly i don't think it is as a big as a deal that as i thought it would be so it's working out fine so i don't really feel like it's a big issue but i would have liked it to be plain though because i love adding stickers in my work planner it just motivates me a lot and i look forward to it when i begin my work week um it's just really nice you know uh, those monday blues that you used to experience i mean it still comes but um i do feel like adding such rituals and introducing these things that you enjoy doing helps quite a bit at least for me it has helped a lot so i've used the floral designer boxes for meetings and for uh, priorities and then i've added a couple of scripts and icons you can see here also uh, the way this planner is set out is that here you have monday to friday and then saturday sunday on the side because i don't work on saturday and sundays what i do is i cover it up with the large boxes and then at the beginning of my work week i do an intention this is just like a 2 minute journaling session this is really helpful because it allows you to think about um not just about the work projects and work tasks but it it it's just a prompt for you to think about okay how are you really feeling and are you working the way you want to work can you improve your experience it's not just about doing a project well it's about how you're doing and how you're how you're feeling while you're doing the project so i really i really love doing it i've been doing this since last year and i'm just continuing because it works quite well and i do this at the beginning of the work week and the reflection i try to do it and in fact most of the days i do it at the end like friday last thing before i close uh, the work related stuff for the weekend I do it and then like you know we shut the planner and it's just such a nice feeling so I really love doing that and in this notes section I sort of um add a running uh, list of projects and a couple of milestones that I'm working on and and yeah so this is for week 2 very similar uh thing i've but i've just been doing this for quite some time now it works so i don't really want to change especially the way i'm planning my weeks probably this monthly things need a little bit of revision because i really loved using these pages last year probably i might go back to the same method and and yeah this is another week there was one more week in january but um i i was off for a few days like for the first for most of the week i was off and then the days that i worked probably on thursday and friday uh, i just used a notepad to to plan stuff and i didn't really want to sit and set up my planner because uh there was a lot of things that i had to get done 
and um, also at the end of the planner we have this password tracking page and what I did was I covered up the headers because I don't really want to track my passwords in a planner um, you know just a security risk so what I did was I created a wisdom section and last year I used to call it a best practices section I really like the feeling when I say the word wisdom over a best practices best practices sort of sounds too technical and wisdom sounds a bit whimsical so I added that and here what I'm um, the way I want to use this is whether I read any books or I'm speaking to a co-worker or someone else is having a conversation in a meeting and then you as a third person you're just you know you hear certain things and be like oh that's a really good idea probably I can try that or this sounds good or in a book you know there's some like valuable uh, idea that you would have got so I'm gonna add all of those things here and so far I have one which is related to blockers it's like before you begin a project you know think about all not all but yeah basically think about what blockers and setbacks you might face and plan around mitigating those step back, setbacks so i wrote that this is really great over a period of time for you to like capture all of these um little nuggets of wisdom and it'll be it'll, i feel it's really nice you you grow in your um in, in your career, not I'm not talking about like the promotional growth, you know, uh, uh, st moving up the corporate ladder. I'm not talking about that growth, but just growth in your knowledge and in and the value that you can provide to the world. So I really love doing this. So yeah, this is how I have been using Tatiana's planner in January. I am really excited, already excited to share how February has been going with you guys, but I'm gonna do that uh, once all of the pages are completed. And and yeah, I, I'm, I think I will, initially I thought I'll do these kind of videos quarterly once, but I feel like there is a value in doing it monthly once, just in case certain things change. Um, I can give you guys an update. If things don't change, I'll just do a really simple flip through. But I'm really happy that you guys have been enjoying and I have been loving making these videos as well. Anyways, guys, I guess that is it for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching and also subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.